difference what you're going through. You're gonna make it. God's gonna see you through. Hold your head up. Put a smile on your face. This is another test. It won't be so waste. So get ready. Get ready. For your blessing. For your blessing. Get ready. For your miracle, oh, yeah. 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 Get ready. Get ready. for your blessing, for your blessing, get ready. Get ready. for your miracle, oh, yeah. Yeah. I know you've been hurting, yeah. 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 it's gonna be alright. Get ready. For your miracle. Yeah. Get ready. For your miracle. What? 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 God's got a blessing. Yeah. How many know that tonight? God's got a blessing. If you really believe it, God's got a blessing. Yeah. Come on. I feel the Holy Ghost. All right. All right. God got a blessing. With your name on it. I don't know about y'all. I feel like I'm walking in my own property. Yeah, I got a blessing with my name on it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 and hallelujah. Welcome to Prophetic Fire, Down and Dirty with your host, Apostle Jennifer Davis. Hallelujah. I'm just excited to be in the studio one more time just to bring a word of encouragement, a word that's going to birth something on the inside of you. Hallelujah. I'm just excited tonight. Why? Because I got now faith. I don't know about my other guests that are up on the line. I got Pastor Four with me on tonight. I got the Prophetess Styles with me on tonight. And I got the Prophetess Davis on tonight. Hallelujah with me. Hallelujah to bring this word. But I don't know what y'all come to do. But I came to give God praise because I got some now faith. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Y'all faith tonight? Amen. Yes. I, wait, wait, come on. Act like it. Act like it then. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. We just come on the line on tonight to talk about some now faith. Uh, because a, a lot of men and women of God are in a in a place right now that we're just going into the end of the uh, first month of the year. And a lot of things have transpired. And so we just come by way to encourage somebody on tonight just to have just a little bit of faith but but i'm talking about that now faith that's going to produce a, a supernatural i'm talking about now faith tonight that's going to make you unstoppable i'm talking about now faith on tonight out of hebrews and 11 and 1 now faith is the substance of things hope for now faith is the things that we can expect to receive from god see i'm excited right there because i know that god is still moving by his fear now faith is the evidence of things not seen now faith is the proof hallelujah that we have everything by believing what god is getting ready to produce in the unknown come on we got to move in the unknown in this season that's why we got to have now faith because god is getting ready to manifest the supernatural i just want to talk to the brothers and sisters on tonight hallelujah about now faith now faith see somebody got to say that on tonight 
type it in on tonight. Now faith, because you got to have that now faith to be unstoppable in this season. I come to talk to a couple of people that are unstoppable, that are ready to move forward. Hallelujah. With without a shadow of a doubt, that are holding on to God's unchanging hand in this time and season. Hallelujah. In the hour of power. I'm talking to a couple of people today that got some now faith hallelujah do do any of you on tonight with me have now faith amen i i have now amen faith. amen, amen. Somebody they got now faith that moves us beyond our old way of thinking you got to understand we can't think with the old mindset to be unstoppable in this season hallelujah well, i'm talking about that now faith that we believe that god is able to do it when he say he gonna do it when he chooses to do it that's the now faith that i'm talking about are you hearing me on today i'm talking about that now faith that got you rooted and grounded in the word of god from genesis to revelation i, I i'm just talking about an unstoppable uh, uh season in this hour what you got to say on tonight pastor for Amen, amen. It, it just reminds me of Abraham when the word of God tells us that he was fully persuaded. We have to be fully persuaded in this hour that God is going to do what he said he was going to do. If uh, we've been, you've been preaching and teaching and helping us to get in position to receive the blessing. And so we have to understand that this is the time and the hour that if you've been doing everything out of obedience uh, to what God is telling you to do according to his will, this is the time that, that what you've been hoping for is going to begin to manifest. This is a year of manifestation for a lot of things. And so we have to begin to shift from the temporal things to the eternal things and begin to shift from the natural things to the spiritual things because God is going to do what he what he promised to do in each and every one of our lives but we have to be in position as you've been teaching us about uh to receive it you know you got to be obedient it's time for us to get back to that place of holiness but we got to be fully persuaded in other words our, our mouth and our heart have to begin to line up with one another this is not the Amen. Time to have this simple lip service and speak yes. You got to believe it in your heart. That means your heart and, and your mouth are in agreement. They're in agreement with what God's promise is in your life. Oftentimes we forego God's promise because we speak against it. Uh, and we get to a place where we've had to wait time after time for God to do what he said he was going to do. But I, I was even on yesterday, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you might be 80 years old. God can still use you. He did that oftentimes in the Bible. He, he took, it took him 40 years of preparation, and then it may have taken him another 40 years, but then he began to use them. So we have to be uh, mindful in this season that if God said he's going to do it, we got to trust and believe that he's going to do what he said. We got to be like Abraham, fully persuaded that we do not stagger in our faith. We got to hold on to our faith. In other words, we can't look to the left or the right. We got to walk that straight and narrow path. And believing that God is going to do what he said he's going to do. And that's that now faith. In other words, now faith is for somebody who's watching on tonight. You 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 hope it in your heart because God promised you that you was going to transition from an apartment to a house. And, and you don't know how you're going to do it because you don't got the credit. You don't have the money. But all you got is faith. That's, that's, that's heaven's currency right there. That's all you need. Because the Bible says that without faith, it's impossible to please God. See, yes. you, all you got is faith. Even even the size of a mustard seed, you can begin to please God and it'll cause his hand to move in your life. Amen. Amen. We're talking Amen. about now faith. What you got to say, uh, Prophet Styles? Now faith is the substance known and heard uh, is the substance known right now. It's a right now thing. We have to have it now. Yeah, we, yes. we gotta have it now. We gotta be. We don't even have to worry about hoping for it. We we already know it's there. Amen. Amen. You know, uh, even as I I was uh, studying on on today, you know, it, it took me back right around the the, the tenth chapter because the tenth chapter tells us why we got to have now faith and, and it and it says until christ animal sacrifice took place year after year of the day of atonement reminding the people of, of their guilt 
the daily and yearly repetition of the sacrifice reminding the people of their sins and taught them that it is not possible for blood and bulls and goats to take away our sin. It, isn't it something that we have Jesus that he got on the cross of Calvary, hallelujah, to take on the sins of the whole world so we can have now faith, so we can walk into our unstoppable season, so we can walk into our wealthy place. See, I'm just talking to a couple of people. I see Drea came on the line on tonight. See, I'm talking to Drea because she said, God got a blessing for her. I'm talking to Drea. She said, get ready. I'm talking to Drea because she said she ready for her miracle. See, when she, when, when she said that, she said she's in an unstoppable season. And she said that she got some now faith. See, I'm talking to some people that are standing on the word of God from Genesis to Revelation, knowing that Christ, Christ got on the cross of Calvary and took on the sins of the whole world. Bottoms with a price to where we can be unstoppable. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So through his death on our behalf, believers can boldly enter into heaven, the most holy place, because of the blood of Jesus. We yeah. got to know what we have when we say we got now faith because we've been bought with a price. Could you imagine if we had to go chop up some bulls and splash some blood, come on, and count on somebody else to pray for us when Jesus got on the cross of Calvary and gave us the power to have unlimited access to walk through the doors that God opened that no man can open? Come on, and he closes the doors that need to be closed in your life because you got some now faith? Woo! Man. See, I'm excited right there because I got some now faith. Come on, I'm believing in the unknown, the unusual, and the unexpected. See, we got to know in this season, hallelujah, we stepping into an unexpected season. Amen. Come on, back to Amen. Man, you know, as you was just talking, it just reminds me how uh, when you, you use unexpected, unknown, because we often try to pinpoint, you know, we want to put a honing device on God and his move and, and try to pinpoint when it's going to happen and how it's going to happen. And, and oftentimes I, I know in my own personal life, he's come away differently than what I thought he was going to come. And so I know for me, having been able to, and I've said this often, think my way out of a situation or, or, or get out of a situation that- yes. God, in some situations where I had to be totally dependent upon him and, and the ability to, to depend upon God in, to, in, in total, in total. In mm -hmm. other words, all of me depend upon God means that I'm surrendered, that I've given up uh, my own power. I've given up the fight for, my, for myself to do it in my own might. I, and the Bible says it's not by power, not by might, he said, but by his spirit. And so we yeah. got to we allow God's spirit to go before us. Uh, even when the children of Israel begin to cross over the, uh, to the Red Sea, when they be, when they begin to cross through the Red Sea and cross over to the Jordan, the presence uh -huh. of God before them. And oftentimes we don't want to allow God's presence to go before us. It's like we got to see it first, but we have to trust and believe in God in this season in spite yes. of it. I always tell my son, whatever word was spoken over your life prophetically, you got to pull that thing down every day. Bring God back into remembrance of his word. Not like he forgot, but just let yes. him know trusting and believing for him to do. I mean, it may happen today. It may happen tomorrow, but you got to trust and believe that God is going to do what he said he was going to do. When David was anointed king, he was king then. But in order for him to, to be able to take the title and, and be able to be in that position, yes. he process he needed to go through training and so god may have told you who you are and what it is that he you to do but you got to be trained so that you can be equipped uh spiritually and naturally to be able to accomplish what god needs for you to do in this season and as i said before he said without faith it's impossible to please him so in spite of what, in spite of what others say you got to see beyond this natural life in which we live and be able to tap into the spirit realm and begin to see God moving on your behalf uh, in spite of what's going on in the world, in spite of what's going on in your household, in spite of what your bank account say. It's in spite of all the natural things. You got to tap in to what's eternal, knowing that God has got your back because he told us in his word, he'd never leave us nor forsake us. So we got to trust and believe in this hour. And he also told us that his word is, is set out to accomplish a particular thing. So as we speak his word and remind him of this word, his word shall accomplish what it has set out to do. So you just got to get out of God's way sometimes. Sometimes we can't see the manifestation of God because we get in his way and we, we try mm -hmm. to 
intercept some things. It's like, you know, we're trying to intercept what God is doing instead of letting God just do what he do. And that's be great. And he's always going to be great in our lives if we allow him to do everything that he wants to do in our lives. Even with the stripping away of things, even with our deliverance, we got to let God do what he's going to do in our lives so we can be made whole. So that we can uh, stand the gate and be able to get in. Amen. And I'm talking about amen. heaven. Amen. 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 Yeah, we're talking about now faith. Hallelujah. I needed some saints to come on in. Hallelujah. On tonight, they got a little bit of now faith. They want to walk into an unstoppable season because that 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 that's what I believe, and that's what I truly believe that God is leading the men and women that have been faithful over a little bit. He's moving us into a season, an unstoppable season where we can expect the supernatural to take a flight and, and, and bring it an overflow. Come on. I'm talking about an overflow that's getting ready to overtake us. Come on. Hallelujah. I'm not just talking about just a little bit. I'm talking about your bank about being full. I'm talking about your refrigerators being full. I'm talking about you possessing the promised land, walking into the wealth house. Hallelujah. I, I, I'm talking about the things that the people have been faithful over a little bit. Trying to live right, live holy, separate yourself from this world. I'm talking to some people tonight that standing for what's right and holding on to God's unchanging hand in this time and season because I'm talking to somebody, hallelujah, when you believe in now faith, it's believing in something that you don't see that's pulling on the, the, the spiritual realm, that's pulling on the unknown, hallelujah, because I tell you this all the time, everything that's connected to your destiny is in the Wins. unknown. We got to begin to pull into that thing and then we got to be in a place, now faith is giving your best, giving when you don't have. It's one thing about I talk about Cain and Abel. And in Hebrews 11 and 4, by faith, Abel offered unto God more excellent sacrifice than Cain. And, and Cain didn't give him his best. And we got to begin to give God our best. And, and when we begin to give God our best, that's now faith because we're believing from Genesis to Revelation what God is getting ready to do. Can I get a witness on tonight? Now faith is when we walk with God on a day-to-day -day basis. We got to begin to walk with, with God on a day to day basis. We can't put God on the shelf when we going through something. We got to pull him out, keep him in our pocket, keep him close to our heart and walk with him daily. Come on. I'm talking about possessing the promised land. I heard you say about the promised land. How are we going to possess the promised land if we ain't even got God close to our heart? We got to have God so close. Come on. Hallelujah. He got, He lives within us. So we should carry him daily. I'm talking about an unstoppable faith in this season. Just a little bit of faith. I just want to talk to two or three witnesses out there on tonight. They got just a little bit of faith. Somebody better type it on tonight. I got just a little bit of faith. Hallelujah. Just a little bit of faith is going to take you into your unstoppable season. Woo! See, I'm excited right there because I know the blessings of the Lord are getting ready to make it rich and add it. No, so I know the blessings of the Lord is getting ready to overtake the men and women of God that have just a little bit of faith. That now faith, the see God beyond where you at right now. That now faith, hallelujah, that will produce the supernatural. What you got to say, prophetess Styles? Now, faith, you have to have it because at the end of the day, you it's even the faith of the grain of the mustard seed, and that's very small. But even then, you, you know that, that faith faith is something that you can't see, but you just got to know that it's there. Amen? So even with the faith, um, it's, it's something that um, we just have to believe for, you know, it's it's not a spirit. It's just you believe that you can have faith. Faith can move a mountain if you just believe it to receive it. Amen. That's where I'm at right now. Amen. Because, you know, the faith of the grain of the mustard seed, when I'm down to my last, God always is up to something. 
Amen. Amen. When you're down to your last, amen. You got to know that. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you're down to your last, God is always up to something. Come on, somebody. Because you you got to go through something to get something from God. So when you're down to nothing, that's you give God an opportunity to come in and fill that area. Come on. You got to be emptied out for him to fill up something. If you continue to be full of whatever you're going through, full of your mess, full of whatever. Come on. That doesn't even give God an opportunity to move for you. So how would you have now faith? You've got to be empty. Amen. Well, you know, I'm excited. I'm about Amen. ready to run out of here because see, the now faith oh, that geez. I have, my God, I, I'm believing in miracle signs and wonders for the men and women Amen. of God the ones that are coming on this broadcast on, on tonight. Come on. Hallelujah. I'm believing that God is going to thrust us, thrust us into an unstoppable season. Hallelujah. I got Tina over here and Tina over here and, and Sister Lynette over here. See, they they, they, they want to grab a hold to what God, because they got just a little bit of faith that's going to push them into the supernatural blessing that God has for them. You got to be faithful over a little bit and he'll make you ruler over much. How many believe that on tonight? Now faith is being persistent. Are you persistent enough? Are you seeking them with your whole heart? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you spending the time that you need to spend with him in this hour? Amen. I'm talking to somebody out there. I'm talking about now faith. What you got to say, Pastor Ford? Hey Amen. I was just thinking as Prophet, Spiles, Prophet Stiles was speaking about the, the mustard seed. You got to understand, even that mustard seed, it has faith when it goes into darkness, when it goes into uh, even, even in the dark places in your own life. When it goes down into that dirt, uh, it receives everything that it needs in that dark place to be able to grow and, and spring forth and become a great tree, even in spite of its size in the beginning. So it's like um, it's like a, a flame, you a flicker of a flame. It may start, but the more it begins to be fanned, it begins to grow. And so that's how our faith has to be. The more we can continue to praise God, even in the midst of adversity, even in the midst of what's going on around us, and we just trust and believe in by faith that God is going to do what he said he's going to do, God will begin to perform. So we have to know that in this hour, the faith that we are trusting and believing in, as you mentioned the word now, it's immediate. It's suddenly. It's not something that we got to wait for for next year. But we yes. also walk in obedience to what God is telling us. We got to keep our ears to God's lips in this season so that yeah. we can begin to get the strategy, the plan, the purpose that he has for us because he'll begin to lay it out. And then you have to be mindful not to release that plan too soon or prematurely. The Bible says judge nothing before it's time. But you also got to be careful who you release it to. If you become diligent, as you just mentioned, Apostle, about working the plan that the, the, the rule or, the, or whatever God has given you, the blueprint for what he's trying to do in your life. If you just trust and believe and move by faith in those things, every little step that you take brings you closer yeah. to the great thing that he has for your life in this season. Amen. Amen. And that's true. I, I, I just got a word for Judy. Joseph, I see that you just came on the line and you said trust in God by faith. And that's what you do. You do, you got that little bit of faith. This word is this for you to increase your faith as you walk into the wealthy place where God is getting ready to take you. I'm talking to Judy right now because you've been in a place, hallelujah, things have been tight, but God say it's been right. He getting ready to send the overflow from the east, west, north, and south says the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. God is going to continue to move by his spirit for you and manifest the things for you and your family says the spirit of the living God, because you have just a little bit of faith. Hallelujah. And that's awesome right there. Just That's all you need is just a little bit of faith. I heard the pastor, I heard the prophet just say, uh, the faith of a mustard seed, just a little bit of faith that Peter took him to step out on the water. Come on. And that's just a little bit of faith that we got to have and believe in God that he's getting ready to, to produce the, 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 the blessing. Hallelujah. The blessing. Mm -hmm that shall overtake us in this season, amen? When we be persistent for what God has called us to do. How many know that we gotta be in the right place, in the right lane, and in, in the right vein in, in this hour? You can't be all over, this, uh, all over the place. This
discombobulated. Come on. You got to be in the right lane in the right vein. Come on. And the right vein is Jesus. Come on. You got to stay connected to Jesus. One of the working power, regardless if you up, down, sitting around town, wherever you at, you've got to be in a place. Hallelujah. My God. That's connected to God's wonder working power. And it's one thing about it. We got to obey his word. How many know on tonight, obedience is better than sacrifice. We got to learn to obey the word. Come on, somebody. Not manipulate the word. Obey the word. Amen. We got to learn how to obey the word in this time and season. Hallelujah. God bless you. The nine. Glad to see you uh, up on Facebook on tonight. Hallelujah. You came on tonight just to give a, a, a push. Hallelujah. And I hear the spirit of the living God. He's going to push you to the place where you need to be. Hang on to God's unchanging hand in this season because God is going to continue to bless you in, in a rich way. Hallelujah. And I speak healing to your body in this season. I hear the spirit of the living God say he's going to do a makeover on you or overhaul on you. Hallelujah. Everything going to become brand new inside and out of you, says the spirit of the living God. God say just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord because he's moving by his spirit just for you, just for you, just for you. God bless you, Lord David. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see you came on the line earlier and you back right now and i hear the spirit of the living god that's a good name jewel hallelujah you a jewel in the eyesight of god and god is getting ready to perform a miracle in your family in this hour hallelujah some things have been held up but god said that there's a great release getting ready to happen within your family says the spirit of, of the living god it seems like your back has been up against the wall but i hear god say that he's sending a fresh wind Hallelujah from the east, west, north, and south. And it's getting ready to circulate and pull up everything out that's been hindering you and your family. And he's getting ready to send in the overflow. Says the spirit of the living God. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost right there. We just talking tonight about just a little bit of faith, that now faith. Because I'm talking about that now faith. When when Paul said now, he mean now instantaneous. You ain't got to wait for your healing tomorrow. You can get your healing today. It's the way you believe and it's the way that you seek God. It's the way that you hold on to God's unchanging hand. When you seek him where he may be found with your whole heart. I'm talking about with your whole heart, not your half a heart heart, your whole heart. You will begin to the supernatural power move. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus, you will begin to see the supernatural power move like never before. From glory to glory to glory. I'm talking about now. I'm talking about now increase, now power, now miracle, now breakthrough. Somebody type now right now. Hallelujah. Because as you type now, that means you believing in the instantaneous miracle supernatural move of God right now. My God, I feel the glory of God right there, my God, because God is moving in such a supernatural way in this season, and I feel Jesus on tonight. I don't know about you, but somebody needs to say, now faith. Huh? Now yeah. faith. Huh? Yeah. Now faith. Yeah. The thing hope for. See, we hoping for a supernatural move of God. Come on now. We hoping for God to manifest the things that have been held up, that have been shut down, that have been put back the doors that have been closed. We looking for all these doors to get ready to open up. That's for you, Judy Joseph. Hallelujah. God, get ready to spring open the floodgates of heaven for you because some things have been stopped up. But God is going to take you into an unlimited season. My God, unlimited season says the spirit of the living God. I see Tina Davis is on the line tonight. Hallelujah. You pulling on through because God is going to heal you in a supernatural way. Hallelujah. My God, a supernatural healer shall hit your door in this time and season. Somebody shout glory right there. Glory. Feel the Holy Ghost right there. My God, I feel the spirit of the living God. Even as you begin to type, that means that you you commanding the devil to release what he just stole from you. See, it's time to take back what the devil has stole from it. It's time to take authority over everything that is lost and know that you're getting ready to get paid in full. It's payday. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's <laughs> Hallelujah. It's like payday. Come on. It's time for your bank account to be full in this time and hour. Come on, somebody. I wish somebody would just see I'm a tight payday because I'm looking for an overflow. I'm looking for an increase. Come on, somebody. It's payday time. It's your payday. Hallelujah. It's time to take back your joy. It's time to take back your family. It's time to take back your marriage. It's time to take back, hallelujah, whatever the devil has stole from you. Take back your mind in this hour. Declare and decree. I got now faith and God is moving in this season for me. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Boy, Jesus. My God. Jesus, my God. God. Wow. I'm just, you know, even on as we talking about faith and we talking about now faith, every word that you're speaking, people need to grab a hold of it and they need to begin to nurture that word and bring back God into bring God back into remembrance of the word. Because as soon as you know, when the Bible talks about the sower, the, the prophetic word is a seed. You got to let that seed take root in your heart so it can spring forth the harvest that you desire and that you're hoping for. But if you allow the birds to come by because it didn't yeah. make it, they'll begin to eat up that seed. And so I just challenge you on tonight that even as you get the word and God begins to speak the word to you, that you let it take root in your heart. Because once it takes root in your heart, your whole, all your actions, your behavior, everything will begin to line up in the way that that's pleasing to God because God will see you moving by faith because with uh, as we mentioned earlier, faith without works is dead. So we got to do some things by faith. We do it by yeah. faith. We got to work ourselves into it, but we do certain things by faith. We should be praying by faith. We should be praising God by faith. We should be worshiping God by faith. We should be doing all of that by faith. And our lifestyle yeah. is to reflect that we're trusting in God, that we belong to God. Don't mix your seeds in this hour and don't mix your behavior in such a way that when the world looks at you, they think that you belong to them. And when the church looks at you, they think that you belong to them. Don't confuse nobody in this season. This is not, yes. not looking for no hybrid seeds. We're looking for a Come pure on. seed, a pure seed, one that is not corruptible. So we have to understand yes. that to be in a place where it's not corruptible. Many of us are in a position where our faith is on trial. Will you be found guilty of having faith? Or will My you be God. In other words, you got to be found guilty in this hour of having the faith, the now faith that God requires for him to move on your behalf. Yeah. You've been using unstoppable, unstoppable because and when we think about it, these reminds me of, you know, the kids when they grow up, you know, superheroes, certain ones were unstoppable. You know, I guess the yeah. biggest thing now is, is Wonder Woman. I don't want to get into all of that and confuse any issues, but we have to know that we serve a God who is unstoppable. We serve a yeah. God who can do all things, He, he but fail us. He cannot fail yeah. us. But in order for us to be able to reap and receive, you, you mentioned about obedience. We got to be in the right place in this hour. Our mind, our heart, everything, our total being has to be in the right place in this season so that God can continue to bless you. And he can, you know, in other words, he can give you the things that you need in the midst of a famine. He can give you food in a famine. He can give you a word in the midst of a spiritual famine. In other words, yeah. The rest of the world may not have it, but because of mm -hmm. faith and because where you stand, you'll have things that people will only dream of being able to have because they're not yeah. operating. So pray to God, pray, pray for God to increase your capacity as far as your faith in the things that he can do. Stop putting limitations on God. Stop putting shackles on what God can do. Stop uh, uh, diminishing the, the greatness of God because God wants yeah. to do in our lives, but we put him in a box and we try to put him on a shelf and he can't move on our behalf. So we got to let God get out the box and what, however God do it, when he do it, how he do it and who he does it for, that's his business. Knowing that just because God's not a respecter of persons, whatever he does for one, he can do for all. But can you believe yeah. Can you believe by now faith? Can you believe that God can do it for you in this season? I don't care if your back is up against the wall. Can you trust and believe in God in this season? I, I can speak to that because I used to be one that, like I said, I didn't operate in total faith. And I and I was angry and upset and frustrated when I felt like, God, I'm trying to serve you the best I can. Yeah. Right now. 
but you're not moving fast enough for me. And so I would lean to my own understanding and begin to figure things out on my own, only to find myself right back at the at the starting point where I had to go back and depend upon God. If you trust God in this season, in the beginning, you don't have to do a U-turn and go all the way back to the beginning point. God can pick you up right where you are and continue to move you forward. Uh, yes. Yeah. About it being mm -hmm. a, a season of acceleration, you know. And on Sunday we talked about the seasons. You got summer, winter, fall, and spring. But the question is, you in a season of victory. So are you walking in your victorious season? I don't care. No outside on the ground. Are you walking in your victorious season? I don't know. I don't care if it's the sun shining bright and it's ninety degrees. Are you walking in your victorious season? You got to mm -hmm. believe that in spite of what's coming again. Yes, 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 yes. You got anything to say, uh, Prophet House? Well, I was looking on verse 3, and it, it kind of moved me a little bit. It said, through faith, we, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are, are seen were not made of things which do appear. So we, we can't actually see it, but we know that it's tangible. And even with the mustard seed, you have to, even with the seed in the ground, you still have to be able to nurture it. And by nurturing it, that's the oil that which you carry by reading your Bible, by doing the things that God have you to do daily. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That, 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 that's awesome right there. What we're talking about tonight now, faith. Amen. And, and you, you know, I want each one that's viewing the broadcast right now, that's right there. Come on. One thing that we got to do is when we're talking about now, faith tonight, we got to thank God before we even receive it. So we got to thank him in advance. Hallelujah. I need somebody to say thank you, Jesus, because we got to begin to thank the Lord in advance because hallelujah, we're talking about an unstoppable season. We're talking about, a, I heard the pastor say acceleration. Hallelujah. And we are already know i already know that we in the accelerated season because i'm looking at 2022 come on because god the blessings of the lord are going to overtake me in such a way that's going to push me into 2022 that's the type of acceleration and the now faith that god is getting ready to produce instantaneous See, i'm talking about an instantaneous uh a miracle i seen eddie and i wanted to tell you she one of the ones gonna walk into a wealthy place in 2021 hallelujah because she's been faithful over a little bit and god gonna make a ruler over much hallelujah god bless hallelujah. you hallelujah coming on in and grab you just a little bit of faith that's all you got to have in this season just a little bit of faith and i speak and declare and decree into your life that god begin to increase your faith and we bind up the spirit of doubt right now we bind up the spirit of procrastination right now because you shall walk in your wealthy place there shall be a new door that open up for you for a new job opportunity says the spirit of the living god and even as you step into the new job opportunity i hear the spirit of the living god new houses on the way new cars on the way god say do you believe it do you receive it you better type i receive that in jesus name because god hallelujah is getting ready to move on your behalf says the spirit of the living god and you already know lynette vaughn hallelujah you walking in your wealthy place because hallelujah you've been faithful for even as you endured the test trials and tribulations, I hear the spirit of the living God, but you have such a great peace upon your life. God has placed on you and you have such a good heart, says the spirit of the living God, that you love his people. Hallelujah. And you're willing to do his will. Hallelujah. Any way that you can, says the spirit of the living God. And so I just speak healing and decree and declare a healing over your life in a supernatural way. Hallelujah. Because God got work for you to do work for you to do in jesus name somebody better receive this blessing on tonight because god got a blessing with your name on it amen it may not look mm. like he got a blessing with your name on it you may not can see your way out your back may be up against the wall your bank account may be empty your husband might not be acting right your kids might not be acting right your family and friends may not be acting right but that's the place that where god wants you to be in this season come on so he can 
can move in a supernatural way so they'll know that God has done it for you. Come on. Hallelujah. So don't worry what, what position you at or what state you in. Worry who you connected to in this hour. Be connected to the one that got the wonder working power that can move and produce a miracle in your life that can tear down the strongholds in your life that can tear down anything that's been hindering you any hindering spirit so you can be free come on to walk into your wealthy place it's time for the men and women hallelujah to possess the promised land in this time and hour of power we talking about now faith hallelujah seeing your miracle instantaneous we talking about now faith on tonight walking into your healing instantaneous we talking about now faith tonight hallelujah where your breakthrough happened instantaneous come on somebody as you tap in hallelujah somebody need to write down right there tap 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 in you better tap into the holy ghost tonight hallelujah as you tap into the holy ghost tonight you're going to walk into the unlimited season that god has for you the unlimited wealthy place that God has for you. Hallelujah, because you've been faithful over a little bit. He's getting ready to make you ruler over months. Hallelujah, I know some things have been stopped up. I know some things have been held back, but I want to tell somebody, you better type right here, it's my comeback season. Come on, somebody. I shall be a lender and not a borrower. Come on, somebody. I shall be above and not beneath. Come on. Hallelujah, because my bank account is getting ready to be filled. Somebody better write and say tap, 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 tap in. Hallelujah, because it's your comeback season. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm talking to somebody tonight. Whatever the devil has stole from you, whatever the devil has stole from you, mm. you get ready to get it back. Amen. Whatever loss, I'm talking to somebody right here that's been in a place. I'm talking to you right now because God is getting ready to restore some things. And when God begin to restore some things back to you, he get ready to restore it better than before. Hallelujah. Get Joel 2 and 28 for me, Pastor Ford, because I, I don't quite have my Bible right here. And I want that scripture read because this is a prophetic down and dirty. And every word that spoke over this broadcast shall be manifested. And this is a prophetic word for somebody because God is getting ready to restore some things back to you. So I want this uh, scripture to go over the air on tonight because we're going to tear down some strongholds. We're going to tear down some things that's been blocked up. We're going to down some generational curses on tonight so the men and women of God can walk in their wealthy place and possess the promised land. Hallelujah, because it's time for us to possess the promised land. It's time for us to take back what the devil has stole from us because God said in his word that he is pouring his spirit. He's pouring his spirit on all flesh. On Amen. all You got the scripture? Joel 2 and 28? Yes. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. Come on now. He pouring his spirit. So if God is pouring his spirit, you got to know in this time and hour that God is moving in the supernatural way in your life. And it's a place that I want you to go to the scripture. I think it's Joel 2 and 23, where he said he's going to restore. Hallelujah. With the canker worm, the plumber worm. Come on. Because we come in this snatch back whatever the devil has stole from us come on can can i talk to somebody tonight that 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 need a move uh, uh of god that that need some restoration upon their life need god to restore some things back that what you lost that your bank account is empty but you need to fill it back up again that your body wrapped with pain and you need a healing or a right now healing that you got a bad report from the doctor and you know that god is a healer come on that you heal by his stripe but you need him to move in a supernatural way. That's who I'm talking to tonight. Come on. And amen. Actually, it's Joel 2 and 25. It says, and I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. 
Amen. So God get ready to restore. That's prophetic for somebody on tonight. Hallelujah. We got to bring the word of God because why? By way of the word of God, that's why things are manifested in your life. That's how God created the, the world with the word. Come on, somebody. And so we got to give you the word on tonight. Hallelujah. That it be manifested in your life. Hallelujah. That everything that 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 God has for you be manifested in your life in this season. My God, my God. You get you you gotta you gotta be uh like Jonah, Jonah wanted to give up, but when he got another chance, have them three days turned around his whole life. Hallelujah. And he became to have some now faith and wanted to commit to do what God should have him to do. And we got to have that sense of belief and that sense of trust in God, believing that he's going to perform the miracles in our life. Hallelujah. How many know on this broadcast on tonight that God is a miracle worker? Mm. Amen. Uh, how many know tonight that God is the lily in the valley? God is the strong tower. God That's is your true. everything. So you got to believe and receive that God is your everything. Hallelujah. And when he become your everything, you walking in your wealthy place right there. I don't care what's hitting your household, what's hitting your job, what's hitting your family. I don't care what's going on. If you believe it in that, in this time and hour, you're going to walk into an unlimited access because God has already opened the door. And when he opens the door that no man can open, you got unlimited access because the door won't shut. Come on. One thing about man, he'll shut the door when he get jealous. He'll shut the door when he get angry. He'll shut the door when he get disappointed. But one thing about God, when he do a thing, his word don't come back, boy. When he said it, that's enough. Hallelujah. And it's getting ready to happen and take a flight. Mm -hmm. How many believe that on tonight? Hallelujah. Somebody right yes. there, you walking in your wealthy place. Hallelujah. Man. The millionaires mm -hmm. on the line on tonight. Hallelujah. To millionaires and civilianaires. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We got to prophesy. Yes, today. Somebody need to get into the mirror and say, I, I'm walking in my wealthy place. Hallelujah. I may be down to nothing, but I know my God is up to something. Uh, that to my, something. My, my bank account should have some added zeros in it. By the time I wake up tomorrow, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, I know that I could go out and, and, and get that new house and sign on the dotted line. I know where I got to know that the no getting ready to turn around for it. Yes, somebody needs to believe that. And whatever the bad report that you have received, hallelujah, know that you heal by Jesus' stripes. You got anything to say, Pastor Ford? You know, I was just talking when you said it's, it's time for us to um, to be paid back or it's time it's our payday. It took me to remember that, that, that Satan has to recompense us. He has to compensate us because I, I thought about that word recompense. It means to make amends to someone for loss or harm suffered. And many of us have experienced loss. We've experienced harm at the enemy's hands, but he, but we must be we 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 will experience recompense in the season. So uh, we but we have to trust and believe that by faith. We gotta know that everything that the devil has stolen, that God is going to rest restore us and He's going to return it back to us. And that's part of that recompense in this hour. Amen. Amen. And you got something to say, Prophet Style? I'm just sitting here thinking, wow, you know, that we, we preached on recompense a while back. And I remember saying that anything, that, that it is a restoring time. We have the victory even now with the now faith, uh, with, the, with the everything that was lost. We are getting it back a hundredfold. Whatever we need, we have to speak it out into the atmosphere with that faith. The faith, the grain of the mustard seed. That's where I'm at right now. Even even w when you're down to nothing, God is always up to something. We mm -hmm. don't have to worry about nothing because even now, I feel even like the breaker anointing being on the line on tonight. There's a healing anointing coming through even now with all, all of us being on the line on tonight. The healing anointing so you got to be able to receive your anointing you may not feel like you're you're healed right now but at the end of the day god said by his stripes you are healed so you have to believe and receive it on this out with the now faith <laughs> amen amen because he already amen. heard your request hallelujah now faith that means you activated something. When you believe in now faith, you be you, you believe in that it's getting ready to happen right now, not later, you know, uh, but right 
now uh, because even as I speak, you know, somebody need to go out and drop the, down the net because somebody going to walk away with a net breaking blessing. And it's time for the men and women of God to walk away with a net breaking blessing. And when you walk away this time with a net breaking blessing and when God begin to open the doors and pull in to your household, pour into your bank account, pour into your family. Do the right thing in this time and hour. Come on, somebody. Don't withhold nothing from God. Give, get, pay Caesar what's due Caesar. Come on, somebody. Pay your 10th and, and keep your 90 and keep it moving. The one thing about God, he gives us enough. Hallelujah. If you just, he gives us 100%. Come on, he gives us 100%. And all we are to do is give him 10 and we got 90 to deal with all our situations. Come on, and even begin to help other men and women of God. Come on, when God begin to bless you. Hallelujah. Start blessing somebody else. Hallelujah. Don't worry about what you got to do. Come on, begin to bless the other men and women of God that are in need and God will begin to take care of your house. It's time for us, the men and women of God, to begin to help eat one another, pray for one another. Come on, push one another, empower one another to speak a word to help uh, our, our men and women of God so we can arise. Come on, and be the men and women of God that God has called us to be in this season. Come on. Hallelujah. Because I'm looking for a net breaking blessing. But see, when you get a net breaking blessing, like Peter and them did, because well, hallelujah, they thought about it. I worked all night and I didn't catch nothing. But when he told them to push that boat out and to use his boat for a platform, they didn't even know that he was getting ready to walk into their supernatural overflow. Come on. Hallelujah. And even as God said, go ahead and push out. And he thought about it. I done rolled up the net. Uh, uh, and, and, and cleaned up the boat, but told him to drop the to drop the net. And that's what God is telling somebody on tonight. Drop the net, drop your God, increase your faith, uh, take away the Take away the procrastination spirit and drop your net. God is saying, trust me with your whole heart in this season, because in this season, I'm sending the overflow. And even as Peter trusted him and dropped the net, come on, he got a net breaking blessing. Come on, a net breaking blessing where he was able, the boat almost sank. He was able to bless the men and women of God that were on the bank, that were around them. They had to jump out there and begin to help them. Come on, because that's how much of an overflow God sent from the east, west, north, and south. And you got to believe in this season. You got to have that now faith, that now faith, yes. that now faith that know that God is moving in an instantaneous way that nothing, he will withhold no good thing from the willing and obedient because he said the willing and obedient shall eat the good of the land. I don't know who out there on tonight that want and desire to eat the good of the land. I don't know who out there desire to move forward in this season. Aren't you tired of being stuck? Aren't you tired of being the neutral? That's not the type of God that we serve. We serve a God that moves from glory to glory to glory. We serve a God that manifests things instantaneous. And it's time if you need a healing, pull on it. Have now faith. Believe that you're healed by a stripe. And God is getting ready to move in a super supernatural way. Hallelujah. Who report are you going to believe? Are you going to believe the report of the Lord or the report of a uh, uh, man? We believe the report of the Lord in this season and that's activating your now faith because even as you begin to activate your now faith, God will heal you in a supernatural way from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Wherever you lack in that, wherever you need increase, God will send the increase right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody type increase right there. Hallelujah. See, y'all got to be on these words tonight, the unstoppable, the increase, the net breaking, because you got to begin to declare and decree a thing. Hallelujah. You got to begin to get in the mirror and speak that thing over your own life. Come on, somebody. And as you begin to speak it over your own life and believe. Hallelujah. Believe. Yes, Lord. Thank believe. you. <laughs> we got to <laughs> believe. When you begin to believe in this hour, you will begin to see the supernatural increase that God is getting ready to do manifest right before your natural eye. You got to understand something. You came up out of the spiritual realm. And so whatever's connected to your life, whatever's connected to your family is already in the spiritual realm waiting for you to declare and decree so it will be manifested in your life. Everything that's attached to you in this season will move in a now will begin to overtake you. The blessings of the Lord will begin to overtake you. 
See, somebody need to believe that there's somebody on the line tonight got some half faith. Come on. I'm talking about, I'm talking to somebody that got a wholehearted faith. Come on. Believing that God is getting ready to move without a shot of a doubt. You still looking towards heaven where all your help come from because all your help gonna come from the Lord. You got to keep your eye on the prize in this season. It's important. Keep your eye on the prize because God said it in his word in Joel 2 and 25 that he come to restore things. How did he come to restore everything that the devil has stole from you. He come to restore your marriage back. He come to restore your family back. He come to restore your joy back. He come to restore your health back. He come to restore your job back. He come to restore your mind back. Some of y'all need your mind. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Somebody, y'all need your heart restored. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So you can move in a supernatural way. Ooh, from glory to glory to glory to glory. It's time to move from glory to glory. That's the type of God that we sleep. He doesn't sleep nor slumber. Come on. He's yet working out the things on your behalf if we just believe. My God, my God, my God, my God. You all y'all got some closing comments before we get off the air. Hallelujah. My sister Bonden says a season of restoration. And yes, it is a season of restoration <laughs> if you believe. <laughs> You got to believe in our favor. And that's how the that season of restoration is. and God will begin to restore everything. And you got to understand when we restore something, we restore it back to the state that it was in. But we serve a God that restored things back better. That's why we can get back up on the potter wheel. Can I talk to somebody tonight? We can get back up on the potter wheel and God don't get no new clay. He reuses the old clay and begin to remold you into the one that he desired you to be. He desired you to be. Not who you want to be. He desire you to be. Can I talk to somebody tonight? Are you on the potter's wheel? Are you on the construction? I think everybody on this line that's attached to this broadcast tonight is under construction. If you're still up on the potter's wheel, God is getting ready to restore everything that's connected to you in the natural and in, in the spiritual realm. And so if it's in the spiritual realm, you're getting ready to be overtaken with the blessings of the Lord because it's your season. It's your due season. It's your season of increase. Come on, it Increase your faith when in doubt. Increase your faith when you have unbelief. Increase your faith when you don't see God moving. Increase your faith when people are not acting right around you. Believe in God in this season, in this hour. It's time for the men and women of God to believe. Amen. 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 In the King of Kings, it's time for us to believe with our whole heart. He said, believe, don't lean to your own understanding, but trusting in him. Trusting. Trusting in him with our whole heart. We got to believe and trust in him with our whole heart. Not half of our heart, quarter of our heart. Because one thing about when God begin to move, when he begin to move in a supernatural way and send that increase, send that blessing your way. He don't give you a quarter of a blessing. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. If you do get a quarter of a blessing, it's in the position that you in. Mm -hmm. It's in the position that you in. It's in the position of your faith. It's in the position of your belief. It's in the position where whatever you connected to in that hour, because if you got something else trying to tap, tap, tap in, when you trying to tap, tap, tap into the supernatural, come on somebody, you can't have the, the, the multiple plugs when it come to God, amen? Because we serve a, a job. God. You can't have an extension cord. You got to have full connection when it comes to God. You can't have another plug plugged in uh, auxiliary cord where you plugging in and tapping into everything that's not like God and expecting God to move in a supernatural way for you. Can I help somebody on tonight to unplug all them attachments? Come on, somebody. I know they're good gadgets today to, to receive some power, but I'm talking about that wonder working power. Hallelujah. That wonder working power that's going Gonna take you into an unstoppable season in God. Hallelujah. Y'all got something to say? I was just gonna say, you know, even in the midst, uh, there's people on the line tonight that uh, that have grown weary, they've grown tired. And my word for them is just to pray. They're gonna have to press in the midst of whatever's going on in their lives uh, so that they can see uh, what God wants to manifest in their lives. I don't care how long you've been waiting. As you, as you said earlier, we got to believe in now faith. We got to believe now 
uh, because in order for the thing to manifest in the natural realm, it must first come from the spirit realm. So it's important that we tap into the spirit realm versus trying to be stuck in the natural place where our thinking is limited and our abilities are limited, but God has a supernatural power that can, that, that can uh, supersede all of that. And so I just want to encourage somebody that may have grown weary in this time. The Bible says, do not grow weary in well-doing. Keep going in the well-doing so that you can reap the harvest in due season. Hey Amen. You got something to say closing out tonight? Um, I just want to, I just, I continue to say that there's a healing on the line. I don't know who it's for, but there is a healing on the line. Even as you were speaking, there's a healing on this line and, um, receive your healing on tonight and don't draw back at this time. Hallelujah. She said it's healing on the line. There's healing, there's de deliverance, there's miracles because it's now faith on the line. Hallelujah. And the Bible says when two or three are touching in the grand, he's in the midst. So God is moving in a supernatural way on, on this line. And I need all of y'all before we even get off this broadcast to type in, I receive it. I receive my healing. I receive my miracle. I receive my breakthrough. I receive everything that God has for me. Whatever you desire, whatever you're expecting God to do, we're type in on tonight i receive it i receive it in jesus name because we got to declare the creative thing we got to begin to speak this thing out into the atmosphere and let the devil know and take authority over everything that god because god has given you a uh, power to tread upon serpents and scorpions god has given you the power to stand against the wiles of the enemy god has given you the power so you got to let the devil know i received everything that god has for me and i'm standing hallelujah waiting for god and i'm, I'm waiting on the promise hallelujah because he getting ready to Descending from the east, west, north, and south. Hallelujah. I'm holding on to God's unchanging hand. I got my eye and my face set like flint. Come on. Hallelujah. I keep my eye on the prize and I'm leaving those things behind. See, somebody got to leave those things behind. Hallelujah. So you can possess the promised land. So you can walk into your wealthy place. So you got to receive whatever you need tonight. Hallelujah. You, if you, if you need to receive a house, if you need to receive a new job, come on. I receive it in Jesus' name because I know that God is a way maker. He said, Said that you will be a, 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 a above and not beneath. He said that you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the field. He said that you will be a lender and not a borrower. Come on, somebody. So he yeah. said that you will lend to many nations. Come on. You won't be borrowing no more. You won't be robbing Peter to pay Paul no more. I'm talking to somebody because he's going to give you stewardship over what he has given you. You will know how to give. Hallelujah. Know how to save and know how to hold on. Come on, somebody. To God's unchanging hand. And even as you begin to hold on to his unchanging in the hand. Hallelujah. You will know what to do because you will be led by the Holy Ghost. And there's one thing about it. If you feel with the Holy Ghost, he'll lead you to all truth. God is not the author of confusion. He's the author and finisher of your faith. I'm talking to somebody right about there. Come on. We got to hold on to God's unchanging hand because he's releasing his blessings upon the earth right now. He's releasing miracles, signs, and wonders. And you got to grab a hold of this thing. That's why you got to have now faith. Paul said, now, now is the time to arise. Now is the time to possess the promised land. Now is the time to walk in your wealthy place. Now is the time to see God in the midst of your storm. Come on, somebody, because God will bless you in the midst of your storm. How many believe that on tonight? God will bless you in the midst of your storm. He blessed the, he blessed the disciples. Hallelujah. When they thought that he was asleep, thought that, thought that he didn't care what, what was going on with him, but they woke the word up. Come on, somebody got to wake up the word on the inside of them and believe in this time and hour that know that God will bless you in the midst of your storm, bless you in the midst of your calamity, bless you in the midst of your loss, bless you in the midst of your struggle, that know that right now woo! See that right there hit me right, 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 right in my shadow because I know without a shadow of a doubt he will why? Because God is able that's why he was able to speak to the storm. And he's speaking to somebody's storm right now. Peace be still. Amen. And everything Amen. is ready to settle. And you get ready to move from Amen. glory to glory to glory. Why? Because you're holding on to what? Now, faith. 
<laughs> now faith is the substance of things hopeful. You hoping for the unknown and the unusual. You standing on your unstoppable season. You looking for your unexpected blessing. I told somebody last week, somebody, somebody said, come on here and give me a testimony because somebody getting the check. I'm telling you, I see them zeros on it. Somebody getting the check in the mailbox, checking your <laughs> Now, somebody get ready to get some money. I won't take it back. You gonna come on up across this broadcast and, 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 and give the testimony because I know what I see. I can see in the people's pocketbooks. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Amen. <laughs> so don't be scared and scared. To testify. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just throw just a little tip, a little seed. Come on. Bless somebody in this time and hour and watch God multiply that blessing. Amen. 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 Without a shadow of a God, when God tell you to bless somebody, hallelujah, bless them. Hallelujah, Amen. if you tell you to bless them with a word, bless them with a word. Don't lean to your own understanding. Trust God in this season. Come on, trust God in this season because God will give you the word to bless your brothers and sisters that something shall manifest. And this is the season and this is the time of manifestation. We get ready to clear up off the broadcast on tonight. I want to thank my guests on tonight. I want to thank uh, Pastor Monica Ford. Hallelujah. I want to thank the prophet the styles all the way from uh, California on tonight. I want to thank the the, the prophetess for coming on, prophetess Davis, my granddaughter, hallelujah. She making her calling and election sure unto God in this season, amen. So keep up in prayer as she does the will of God and not the will of man because God is gonna move in this season for her, says the spirit of the living God, hallelujah. I know that God is a good God. I see somebody else that then came on the board. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's team on tonight then then came up on the broadcast she said she gonna get her now faith she gonna get her blessing because she moving in a supernatural way and i do speak increase into your life healing to your body hold on to god's unchanging hand in this time and season of power and hour because god is moving by his spirit on your behalf hallelujah trust him in this season walk by faith and not by sight says the spirit of the living god because god said even as you walk by faith and not by sight come on you're gonna begin to see that business manifest you're gonna be sitting begin to see that 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 name be manifested come on hallelujah so and you're gonna see the finances mm -hmm. come from the east west north and south god say trust them in the secret just a little bit of faith just a little bit of faith of a mustard seed and god say he getting ready to to send a windfall your way come on a windfall your way and even as he sends that windfall hallelujah even as you believe see you stepped up on the line the man came on you say uh -uh, i'm coming on in i'm gonna try this link out tonight mm. and you're gonna come mm. in and, and tap 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 she didn't tap all the way mm. in onto the broadcast because she says she got to get it come on and that's how you got the business out you got to say i got to get mine hallelujah move out the way if you don't want to praise him if you don't want to walk in your wealthy place if you don't want the things for the god move out the way Go sit down and get some deliverance until you ready to walk into your wealthy place. And that's how the men and women of God got to be. And you in that season, you in that vein, in that lane, in this time and out. And all I can tell you, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord and continue to move forward. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Know that God is going to make you a lender and not a borrower. Hallelujah. This will be your best year, 2021. Trust God in this season. I can't say it enough. This word was for you. Now faith. Now faith is the substance of things hopeful. Move in it. Move in it in this hour and believe it and believe it. And once you start, don't look back. I don't care if you sell one dinner, one plate, two plates here, two plates, plates there. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I started out one person looking on my broadcast, two people looking on my broadcast. I started out nobody even typing a message, but it's each week I continue to press. I continue to stay committed to what God has called me to. And that's what you're going to do when God is calling you to a higher place, a higher level, a higher dimension. You've got to be committed no matter who comes, no matter who uh, is connected. you got to do it. Amen. Walk in this Amen. Amen. That's for you too, uh, Sister Lynette Bond. Walk in it in this season. Keep your head up. 
and stay connected to God's unchanging hand in this time and hour of power. Once you start, don't let up. You done been back and forth, up and down. Once you put this, put platform at this time, if, if one so that's okay. You moving forward. Come on, somebody. And that's how you got to mm. look at this thing. Amen. You got to look mm. at it. God going to send the increase. Come on. He already planted the seed. Come on. So he going to provide the water to do the increase. Long as you suited and booted and rooted in Jesus, you shall grow and glow in him, says the spirit of the living God. Mm. I feel the Holy Ghost. I'm about ready to run up off. I run up out of my house right now because I feel the glory of God. So I know God is on this line on tonight performing some miracles. Amen. Amen. Performing some miracles right now because somebody's faith is increasing. Your mind is being made up. Your, your, your heart is being regulated. Hallelujah. Your heart is being transformed. That's right. That's right, Sister Vine. Hallelujah. We can't despise small beginnings. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The smallest thing. Come on. I started in my house. <laughs> I started in my house and I never stopped then. And I'm not going to stop now. I started in my house. I started with just a little bit, but I still got that little bit of faith to know that God is going to bring me through no matter what. And you got to stand on that in that time and hour of power. I hear you, Judy. I feel the spirit of the living God too right about now. I'm about ready to run up out of my house because I feel the glory and the power of God upon this broadcast. That's why I know some miracles getting ready to happen. My God. Woo! Some miracles getting ready to happen. Some things is breaking off some people right on this line on tonight. Hallelujah, you've been at a standstill. But I guarantee you, after this broadcast, you're going to be in a running motion. You're going to be in a moving forward. I got to get this completed. Hallelujah, this been on the back burner too long. I've been procrastinating too long. I got to move forward in my God because God said that he would supply all my need according to his riches and glory. If I just have just the faith of a mustard seed, I could speak to that mountain and it be removed. I can speak to the situation, and it be removed. I can speak into my bank account, and it be filled. See, I'm trying to help somebody have some real faith. Come on, somebody. The Amen. faith in the unknown. Come on, somebody. The faith in the supernatural Amen. that will be manifested. Amen. Amen. You gotta Amen. believe. All right, come on, everybody, before we get off the line, type increase, I believe. Come on, hallelujah, however way that you put it up on this line, and I'm going to type mine too. increase, 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 hallelujah, type increase, in whatever way, increase in your faith, increase in finances, increase in love, some of y'all desire to be married, some of you, hallelujah, the desire to have new houses, type increase. And on top of that, as you type increase on tonight, you got to believe. You got to believe. You got to believe without a shadow of a doubt that God is going to manifest everything for you. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We give you honor and praise, God. God, I thank you for the glory that's been on the line on tonight, God. God, I thank you for every word that's been spoke on tonight, God. And not let one word come back void on tonight, God. But God, help us to increase our faith, God. Help us to move forward, God. God, take it out any blockages, any hindrances right now in the name of Jesus, that we walk into our wealthy place and our increase in the name of Jesus, God. That we begin to believe, believe, believe. Believe. believe that you're getting ready to do it for us without a shot of a doubt that we be faithful over a little bit that you make us ruler over much in the name of Jesus God and God I speak over each one that I prophesied to on the night God that they walk in their wealthy place God that even when doubt come in and unbelief God that they increase their faith God knowing that you still so supply all they needs in the name of Jesus God God I thank the speakers on tonight that came on with me to join in with the word God and I 
mind of anything backlash any retaliation against them right now in the name of jesus god and god i speak a increase and a blessing over each one of their lives on today god in the name of jesus god that you begin to send an increase from the east west north and south god in the name of jesus god and god i ask that you touch uh tina right now touch the other tina right now touch sister Vaughn right now touch minister max berry right now touch judy right now touch beverly right now god in the name of jesus touch andrea right now god touch drea right now touch nicole today god touch christina today touch prophet the styles today god in the name touch pastor Ford right now god in the name of jesus touch melly mel right now god in the name of jesus and all the ones that came on tonight that do this broadcast god that they walk in a wealthy place god god i speak restoration over each one that view this broadcast on tonight god in the name of jesus knowing that your word does not come back boy god but when it's sent out it manifests what is sent out to do god and i speak increase to each a man and woman of god right now in the name of jesus god and god i give you the glory my god i give you the glory and i give you Woo! In Jesus' name. My God, I'm just too excited on tonight. Hallelujah. Before we get off the air, y'all got anything else to say before we get off the air? I'm full right now. I'm probably not even going to be able to go to sleep on tonight. Hallelujah. My God. I'm full right now. I, I, I feel God's glory right now. It's like consuming me. My God. My God. Glory to be God. So anybody got anything else to say before we get off the line? Amen, amen. Well, it's been time well spent, well spent on this line and on this broadcast on tonight. Hallelujah. And as, even as we come to a close for the broadcast on tonight, hallelujah, I want to thank each one of my speakers that came on, Pastor Ford, Prophet Styles, and even Tina joined in on the line on tonight. And I want to thank each one of you. God bless you, Jewel, too. Hallelujah. I want to thank you for joining the broadcast and know, hallelujah, the blessings of the Lord make it rich and add no sorrow. Know that you're walking into your wealthy season is an unstoppable. Know that you're unstoppable. Before we get off the broadcast, Everybody type in unstoppable, 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 unstoppable. This is your unstoppable season. Type it, type it on today. Declare and decree a thing and God is sending increase because you shall be a lender and not a borrower. I thank each one of you and know that you're walking into your unstoppable season in the name of Jesus. Join me, join me next week for prophetic fire down and dirty. Hallelujah. To walk into your unexpected blessing, your miracle, your breakthrough. Join me next week at 730. Tag a friend, share, let them know that I'm coming on next week. Hallelujah. With the prophetic flow. Hallelujah. In this season, God is moving by his spirit. So get ready for your breakthrough and your blessing. I love each one of you and you all have a great night in this season and know that you are unstoppable in Jesus. Love each one of you. Good night. <laughs>